side and the, the riders are the other. Richard Cooper and Steve Parrish pulled the fast one. Parrish was already on board with it running. Cooper touched him. Parrish got away into the lead, but he was chased immediately by the number 90 bike, Sam Clues, and Ian Bain on the number 12 bike, pushing very hard as well. They got a cracking start, fell further down the order, but were to finish, as you've just seen on the podium. But Sam Clues on the number 90 bike came under pressure then from John Boy Lee on the MV Augusta, and that very quickly swept past and set after the number six bike with Steve Parrish, who was at that point still out in front. Not for long, because the pressure came, there was action all the way down the field. The rider changes, number 26, Danny Pedrosa climbing on board of the Manx Norton was eventually to haul himself up from 16th to 6th place at the finish. Sam Clues handed over the number 90 bike to Peter Hickman, who made a good fist of it and pushed really, really hard. Then when the star riders got on board, Sylvain Barrier, number 20, threw a spanner in the works. One lap down, he certainly made things interesting at the front. James Hayden on the number 16 bike was also pushing very hard. Down went James Hillier. Hayden had to take evasive action, so his overall challenge effectively over. But it was an MV to the line. Victory for Lee Johnson and John Boyley. Justly desserts for them.